apocalypse. <laughs> What is up guys, Space Unicorn here, bringing you part 5 of something legendary. So, with that being said, we're going to hop into this and we are going to give you our 5th legendary card. That card being Hades. Hades has kind of went in and out, people are kind of falling back in love with her again. Um, she is very strong, as you can see, basic rundowns for statisticals, mine is only level 11, so it's nothing really crazy special. You guys know, I don't have very high level cards. But that is okay. This is not my main account. This is a for fun account. So, let's hop into some matches here and see if we can get, show you guys some hot Hades action. Alright. Right off the rip, it gives us Hades. It's like the game new. It's what we were meant to play today. So, a couple things to know with Hades. Right off the rip. 118, 117 with a hit from the Hades side. That is a lot of damage. As you can see right now, we got a Mimi wall to deal with. Not the end of the world, we'll just go around it. So, another thing to note with Hades is she actually has splash damage. It's not a lot, but it's 70. 70 at level 11 if you hit near them. Now, the radius on the splash damage is not a lot, as you guys are seeing right here. I'm just trying to demonstrate that for you. It's not a lot. I think it's like less than a meter. Oof, we got stunned. Let me pop that all real quick. So you guys who know Hades, probably don't, most people don't realize is that she actually does have splash damage. It's something where people forget about it because it just kind of goes by the wayside. But it's actually incredibly valuable if you can learn to use it correctly. As you can see right there, Mimi was caught in her ult. She is going to die. Hades ult is still very, very strong and alive. So we're going to hop into the game here. We're going to give you a bit more talk and time with Hades. Hoping to see what happens. Alright, come on game. Let me load out, please. Alright, next game. Hopefully we get a stable connection and a real person. That's going to be the name of the game, guys. I have been really struggling with stable connections as of late. I have had way too many DCs as of late, and it's not even funny. Um, but anyways, back to Hades. So, as I said, she actually has a slight splash damage. 70 on the splash, 118 on a direct hit. That is tons of damage. I, I, I can't put that into respect for you enough. That is tons of damage. Now, her weapon is very precise, so it takes a steady hand to get used to, but that's okay. We all have those characters in our lineup, at least we should. If we are all just running splash damage characters, then there's a problem. Anyways, let's hop on Hades again. So, next thing to go over with Hades. She is very much able to shut down a channel. Reason for this is, well, pretty straightforward. Oh, I thought I hit that. <laughs> Chill, Shinobi. As you guys can see, huge damage, which is exactly what you want. But the thing that you can do with Hades that makes her incredibly valuable. What the? Did anybody else just see that? Did it curve? Did I curve to the side? <laughs> but the thing that makes her valuable is since teams often push one side, you are able. Ooh, 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 I'm missing. That's one thing you can't do. You are able to alt a side of AI push and successfully shut down a whole push. So let's say you have a whole team coming on this direction. If I ult and they all have to come through it, guess what? They're all dead. I win. That push is mine now. These are things that you have to learn. This is why the boss is so popular as well. His ability to kind of catch people off guard and get those kills consistently. Hades is the same way. If she hits the ult, most of the time the AI will die unless the player physically switches to that card in question. Good damage right there. Shinobi down. As you can see, it is incredibly easy to get frags with Hades. It just takes time to learn the shooting and firing mechanics. Um, target damage, pretty straightforward and simple. 26, 27. Very consistent, very solid damage. Ooh, Paku with the huge splash damage right there. Good job, Paku. Paku doing what he's supposed to do. Let's hop on to Lucha. We're actually just going to push up here to the tower real quick. Get out of this match, and since this has been so fast, we'll try to get to another match. Um, like I said, we're really trying to get a real player here. 
If we don't get a real player, we will play the match backwards. <laughs> it's literally the only thing I can think to do if we don't get another... If we have a third match and we don't get a real player, like, oof. Maybe I'll broadcast it. That might be fun. Would you guys like that? I'll broadcast it if we get another match without a real character. A real player. And there's the victory, guys. Like I said, so Hades, very, very effective. Learn to shoot. Learn how to use the splash damage and learn to pop that ult at the right time to catch as many characters as possible in it. If you can do these things with Hades, Hades will be incredibly effective in your lineup. All right, let's see who we get here. Come on, baby, come on. Do 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 do. Hey, look guys, a pro tip, aim for the head. It will be double the damage. That's not true for all characters. Not all characters have double headshot damage. What's this one say? Play until the end of the battle. Rage quits will make you lose trophies. So does losing. <laughs> All right, looks like we've got a bot. So we're going to actually broadcast this one for you. Just have some fun with it, guys. So let me get my announcer voice on. We're going to hop in here, and here we go. Blue team pushing up the middle with Andro, Lucha, Hades, and Ollie. Meanwhile, Dan is on the right side for the red team pushing up. Looks like Blue Team has a very successful push going on the right-hand side, but Von Doom and Queen Boom are in position to counter it. Will they get the pick? Looks like Andrew's the first one to fall to Queen Boom, but Hades quickly answers with a frag on Von Doom, and Lucha gets the scrapper. Hades is now in position and in combat with Queen Boom. Meanwhile, the boss has pushed all the way up to be in position for an attack guard. Hades just got the frag Queen Boom. Lucha gets the tower. It looks like the Blue Team now has the spawn control and the numbers advantage and should be rotating over to the right-hand side red tower lucha is now rotated over he is about to hop on that tower and do gobs of damage scrapper has just respawned it is up to him to save this will he be able to in time because lucha is doing work scrapper is hitting him hard though so we will see oh no scrapper got too close lucha gets the fragment scrapper meanwhile andro is pushing on the right hand side dan missed it on the rotation queen boom and lord vr are on rotation as well it looks like the whole red team is there, but none of them can figure out what to do with the blue team's Lucha. Andro is now fighting Dan and gets the easy frag on Dan. Dan is really no match for Andro in his current state. Von Doom also goes down to Lucha. Lucha's got to go down here eventually. There goes Queen Boom. Andro is in position to capitalize, though, but will she do it? Ollie, meanwhile, and Hades are engaged with VR. It looks like Hades gets the frag on VR. Queen Boom gets the pick on Andro and the pick on Ollie. Red team has now all of a sudden swung this push into their favor. Hades is in position though, and if she pops that ult, it will hurt the red team greatly. Meanwhile, Dan is in position to get the frag on the Hades. Great job. Blue team is now on the defensive with spawn. So red team is now pushing up. Dan on the right-hand side. Ollie looks like she's going to the left-hand side. Lucha and the boss are in position and get the easy frag on Dan. The red team did not push together, so you saw the cards struggle on the back side. Meanwhile, Queen Boom falls to Lucha. The boss and Andro. Ooh, the Lucha gets the VR. Meanwhile, Von Doom and Scrapper are on the back right-hand tower. Blue team is now going to push to the main tower of the red team. Will the red team be able to counter this? It does not look like it. That is a lot of firepower going to the red tower right now. These are people you do not want there. Dan is in position to try and help, but Ollie is stunning the world with her hoverboard. It looks like this could be it. It looks like the blue team is the champions of this particular game. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and down there. It is Space you and I will see y'all legends in the next one. Have a fantastic day.